I'm Gwen Rudy, one of the staff astronomers at Carnegie Observatories. I'm an observational astronomer, which means I use telescopes to collect the light of distant objects. In my case, I use telescopes to study distant galaxies, to understand how galaxies like the Milky Way, our galactic home, came to be. There are a lot of different kinds of telescopes, like the mighty Magellan telescopes that Carnegie runs down in Chile, the one sitting behind me in this picture. There are also telescopes up in space, like the Hubble Space Telescope, named after Edwin Hubble, the Carnegie astronomer who discovered the size and scale of our universe, as well as the remarkable fact that the universe is expanding. So with all these different telescopes, you all may be wondering whether telescopes on the ground or the ones we launch into space are better. And the answer is we need both kinds of telescopes to answer all the questions we have about the universe. So telescopes up in space are useful because they're outside of Earth's atmosphere. This is really great because our atmosphere blocks some of the colors of light that we'd like to study, like ultraviolet light, for example. And so we can only study UV light um, and other kinds of light from space. The other issue is that turbulence within Earth's atmosphere make cosmic objects appear a little bit blurry. This is something astronomers call seeing, and it limits our ability to see the beautiful and scientifically valuable details within these cosmic objects. Space telescopes avoid this blurring and so can see crisper images of these sources, which of course is very valuable. Those are all really important and may make you think there's really no use for ground-based telescopes, but that isn't the case at all. Ground-based telescopes are critical for a number of reasons. One is that large mirrors and complicated instruments, the ones that we like to use, are really heavy. And so launching them into space can be challenging or even impossible. This means that we can have much larger telescopes on the ground than we can typically launch into space. And we can have more complex and heavy instruments. The size of a mirror really dictates kind of how far a telescope can see. And so that is actually really important for dictating the types of science that we can do. Space telescopes are also really expensive and they take a really long time to plan and to build. What this means is that with ground-based telescopes, we can be a lot more flexible. It allows us to bring new technologies to telescopes on much shorter timescales, advancing our pace of discovery. Thanks for your curiosity. I hope to see you in the future at one of our in-person events.